Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to monitor file access on Linux using the audit D. So are you ready? Let's get started. So actually if you want to track any changes in a file or directory, the audit diamond is responsible for monitoring individual system calls and logging them for inspection. So first thing first, we have to install this daemon. So to install it, pretty easy. We issue the command sudo apt-get. Here I'm using Ubuntu. So in order to install a package, we use the apt-get install. Then the name of the package, which is the audit daemon. Okay. Then I hit enter. So the package will be installed, yes. Okay, now I verify if the service is started. So I will tap service, audit D, then status. As you can see, the service is running and active, okay. So let's say that we want to monitor for example this file here text one so in order to do that it's pretty easy so you always type your command with root privileges so i will issue the command sudo then audit ctl then minus w which stands for watch then i will give the path to the file that I want to monitor. Here I'm on my desktop, home, I mean, desktop, then my file name, which is text1, okay? Then after that, I give the permissions that I want to monitor. So I will monitor the read, the write, read, even I can make an execute and append so if any changes happen to my file they will be monitored then here we can give just uh, what we call a filter key that identifies my file or audit records so i can make whenever name i want so i will just uh, type text one filter for example Okay, so now my when I hit enter, my file has been monitored. So let's make some changes to my file. So for example, I will open it using gedit. Okay, I'll just add something, hello world for example. I will save that file and I will close it. Okay. So now let's say that you want to view the audit file access. So in order to do that, there is a command for that. AU, which stands for audit search, then minus F. Then I give the path to my file, which is always home, I mean desktop, then text one. As you can see, I have an error because I must use this command with root privileges. Okay, so now as you can see here, I have the audit file to my uh, to my file here, the text one. So there is a bunch of information here. I can see, for example, the program that I have used with this exec equal. You see that it's used by the gedit because I open it with gedit. You can even spot the user ID here, which is 1000. Actually, this is my ID. Okay. So with this result, with this output, you can track whenever changes that happen to your file. Okay. There are also some comments that you can use when you run the, uh, the audit for example AU report 
okay always I forget to run it with the root privileges here there is a summary of all the audit that happened to my system I just installed it so the range time has just began but there is a bunch of information that I can use for my audit I can for example see the auto authentication report using the common AU report but this time always with sudo count minus AU which stands for authentication here I haven't actually used anything so the events are empty okay I can also give the command minus F here I have all the file access as you can see here my text one has been accessed by gedit and it's giving me the time and the date okay okay now I will show you some important files like for example the file called audit.log which is located in var log audit and the name of the file is audit.log yes I can open it using vi for example here you can see the content of this file which logs all the event that happens using the audit command or the audit daemon okay all quit and also you have to keep in mind that all the audit that I have done right now will disappear when I reboot the machine if you want to keep them permanent all you have to do is to uh, is to edit the file audit that rules okay so if you want if I open the, this file for example with the VI which is located in etc audit audit that rules As you can see here if you want for example to keep the audit for my file permanent all you have to do is to add here the command minus w then the path to your file which is home I mean uh, desktop text one and same parameters that you have used before your key filter we call it text one and filter so now if you save your file all the changes will be permanent and all the audit will be written in the log file okay so that was just a brief introduction to how to use the audit in your system especially Linux and that can help you to keep track of all the event or access that happens to your system. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.